Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read, which is going to be for whoever needs it. Let's see, whatever comes in in this reading, we're going to be open to receive the messages coming in. Let's see, what's up with your love life? 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 Let's see, what's up with your love life? Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Wow. The Green Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. The Butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. On the deck, we do have the runner. Um, runner in a codependent relationship. You're of intimacy. Listening to ego. There you go. Now, I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, there might be some sort of an ending that I see coming up for you in, in the times to come. And I really feel like, you know, um, even if this ending is taking place, you need to allow this ending to happen because there is somebody out there who is right now running away from you. Um, I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, it's hard for you to stay positive about your love life situation currently, uh, either because you are chasing this runner or you are feeling bad for being always chasing or on the chasing side like you know you never felt like you know you are loved or you're like you know valued or the person would be like in a uh you know in a very uh intimate relationship with you emotionally i really feel like you always had your concerns around it you always had your 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 um bad uh you know um experience in love and relationships i feel like in you know, for a majority of you the divine really wants you to kind of like you know, keep your mindset very positive no matter whatever is the current situation whether you are with someone whether you are single whether you are you know expecting for someone to return back you really have to keep your mindset positive to manifest what you truly desire in terms of your love life i really feel like you know for some of you you are not even sure what do you want because maybe you're like you know you want love you want relationship you want successful uh, marriage or whatever but then your mind is currently kind of like you know always engulfed in, with with the with negative thoughts and mindset and you are unable to manifest what you want but you're manifesting more of the fears that you have right now because your focus is more on the, more on the fearful thoughts fearful mindset that's why the divine really wants you to keep your mindset positive to manifest the positivity in your life that you're seeking in your love life right now so i feel like you know um there is abundance that i see coming up for you if and only if you keep your mindset positive and if you don't then i really see an ending in a relationship that is coming up for you for some of you if there is a relationship which is ending right now, you have to allow it to end because this is getting codependent relationship. And, um, you know, this is something which is uh, not going to work out. There is a fear of commitment. There is a fear of intimacy coming from your person. I really feel like, you know, they are listening to their ego right now and you have to let it end if you are in a relationship. And if the relationship seems like falling apart, let it fall apart. Don't chase after this person because it's not going to work out as you would want it to work out. Uh, allow this this um, you know situation to end allow yourself to evolve allow yourself to heal allow yourself to grow for some of you i really feel like you know, the one that is running away from you might return back to you after some time let's see some more cards first let's see what else is coming in for you wow but i really see that if you could stay positive if you could affirm something positive, you will be able to manifest that. Right now, if you're having troubles in your love life, it's because you're manifesting that thought process, which is not positive. Uh, so if you really want some change, make sure that you change your thoughts. That is going to change your reality. Let's see what else is coming in for you for this uh, read. What else do you need to know? What else is coming in for you? What else? What else can you get to know about you know, you're reading this reading. Unexpected income. Great fortune. I feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, there is somebody out there who's thinking about you. You know, um, I really feel like, you know, um, there is going to be somebody unexpectedly coming up for you in your life. I really feel for some of you, you might be getting lucky financially as well in the times to come. But I really feel like maybe you are meeting someone who's very who's going to be like into you this person can be um 16 27 or 26 born or these date could be significant for them maybe they that's the age um that we are seeing here in numbers but i really feel like you know there is a good fortune coming up for you so even if there is an ending coming up for you in your love life allow it to happen um because i really feel like you know your 
destined to have something abundant coming up for you in your love life so if there is somebody running away from commitment maybe they are not the one that you're destined to be with so allow this person to run away there is something evolving in your love life that i see and there is a lot of good fortune coming your way as well um there is somebody that i can see here uh this person can be somebody who has a mustache or somebody who's uh you know um who's uh who's a very um um they, they have a very um they, they look like an officer or something i feel like now this person can be somebody who's uh um who's who's thinking about you this person is uh, you know this person is somebody who's uh um you know who, who is um who's also looking at your pictures i feel like you know, there is somebody out there who is um who's thinking about you and who's going to be like, you know, maybe, maybe they are somebody who's stalking you on social media or something like that. But this person is somebody who's interested in you. I feel like, you know, they are not somebody who's running away. I feel like, you know, this person is completely different than this one. Uh, this person is not running away from you. Um, but let me, let me put it out for, for those of you who are dealing with someone who's running away right now from you. Um, I really feel like, you know, there is a chance that this person is going to return back to you. Uh, because there is a revolvish, uh, a relationship revolving card as well. So maybe your relationship with this person is going to revolve, uh, evolve. Um, so if 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 you are dealing with someone who is, uh, uh, you know, uh, running away from you right now, just know that they're probably going to come back to you. Let's see what cards here. What else is coming in? What else is happening for you in, in your love life or in, in general even we are open to that as well so i really feel like that's more of a love life reading because that's what i usually do but yes i do see some financial aid income coming your way as well which is going to be unexpected so abundance is definitely in general coming up for you so make sure that you're keeping your mind positive and happy things are going to work out for you let's see what else is coming in for you what else can you expect a renewal of some kind i feel like you know it can be a renewed hope um in love work home life you are going to feel like you know um some sort of positive deed returning some sort of a spark returning in your life maybe it's coming with this new person that i see coming up for you or maybe it's coming with the relationship getting renewed um for some of you maybe it's coming with this person approaching you or reaching out to you but i really feel like you know your ancestor guides are definitely there to support you guide you right now and you have to listen to that. I feel like you know, there is somebody out there um, who might play some mind games with you. Um, again, maybe this is this is somebody that maybe you're, you're dealing with. Maybe they are wanting to try to control you or the relationship. But I really feel like you know they they, they you can you can definitely walk away from something like that or walk away from someone like that i feel like and it's very important right now if something is ending and the person has been very controlling let it end um there is some sort of a new beginning that i see coming up for you in the in the winter time winter time is going to be very significant maybe the current winter time is the one where you are going to learn a lot and you're going to mature up with the with the cycle that you've had with someone uh toxic in your life um i really feel like you know there is a you know, for some of you, you might have been stuck in your love life with the wrong person and somebody who was kind of closed off, somebody who was uh, guarded, um, somebody who was always resisting the relationship that they had with you. And they would they would kind of like, you know, push you away. Now, for some of you, because it's a general reading and many people are going to watch it. For some of you, this person who is kind of closed off and guarded and resisting this relationship, their own feelings, they might return back to you around the winter time, the next winter time or something like that as well. Because I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, this, um, I really feel like you know, there will be some sort of renewal taking place for some of you. So there might be revival of a relationship that might, uh, you know, take place for some of you. This person might return back after having like, you know, their own understanding of your, of their feelings and emotions towards you. They might change. They might heal their inner child, which is the reason why they are running away from relationship or, you know, letting this you know, connection work. But for some of you, I really feel like, you know, there is a new person coming in as well. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you might have been stuck with the wrong person, not having the courage to walk away from the one that you were attached to. But now for some of you, you are going to be like, you know, kind of ready to move on, ready to move forward. Um, I really see some sort of a wish fulfillment coming up for you. For some of you, you could be dealing with an air sign or you yourself could be an air sign. But I really see that... Um, there's a lot of clarity coming for you. If you have been kind of like, you know, being in a comfort zone, clinging on to someone 
who was not valuing you. I feel like, no, this is the time when you're going to break free from that. And somebody's going to come in your life who's going to break you free from that situation too. Uh, or is going to help you break free from someone toxic in your love life. Let's see what else is coming in for you for this read. What else do you need to know? Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. I feel like you know, if you have been dealing with someone toxic, the divine really wants you to stand up for yourself. You cannot let shit happen to you anymore. Um, so yeah, just just make sure that if somebody is running away from commitment, uh, some sort of a loving relationship, I feel like you, know, you need to walk away from that person. Um, I feel like you know, for some of you, um, this this uh, this person who is running away from you, I feel like you know. You have allowed this person to take you for granted. And that's the reason why the divine really wants you to kind of maybe close yourself off to this person and move on with the with the, someone who you feel more happy and, uh, you know, fulfilled with. Somebody who loves you, somebody who thinks about you, somebody who values you, somebody who, uh, you know, acknowledge um, your, your presence in their life is, you know, so much more for them than you can even imagine. So let's see the guidance for you. Openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. I feel like you know, the divine is going to be kind of like talking to you through signs and messages around the whole situation that I see coming up for you in your love life. Be open to receive the guidance coming from the divine. Deeply, look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. I feel like, you know, for majority of you this time, um, you are going to mature up to the point where you're not going to be wanting to go back to this uh, person and chase after them. I really feel like, you know, you're going to be like, you know, understanding your patterns in relationships and you're going to choose to create a different pattern in your love life so you could have the fulfilling relationship that you desire. Uh, every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, what I see here is as you open up to understand the patterns that you've been having in love and you try to understand the lesson that you have been kind of ignoring, that lesson learned is going to make you feel... Um, it's, it's just going to set you free. Uh, and when you've set yourself free, that's when, you know, the things that you are chasing after, uh, they, they start coming back to you. I feel like, you know, you will be attracting a few exes of yours in this time. Um, as, as you heal yourself, as you heal your, uh, you know, uh, your inner, inner wounds around love and relationships, you will, you will be attracting a lot of people back in your life. But it's going to be your call, your decision. Do you want to give the chance to the relationship again or do you want to move on move forward with your love life i really feel like it's going to be to each its own i feel like you know it's going to be everybody's own decision but i really feel like you know there is an important um you know twin flame relationship that you're currently dealing with but um yes i really feel like you know if there has been a twin flame relationship that um that you were dealing with i really see that your relationship with this person is going to get um rekindled and um, you will be having more sense of uh, satisfaction, gratitude within that relationship. But for some of you, you might see someone walking away from you, but that is going to open a new chapter for you in your life, which is going to make you look at your relationship patterns from a different perspective and try to work on the healing part. So you could, uh, you know, you just stop letting people treat you bad. I feel like, you know, for some of you, um, this person that I see here, when you are standing up for yourself, the person who is right now ignoring you and running away from you, maybe they're going to stop thinking much about you or more about you than they ever did in the past. So that might be the case. Maybe, you know, somebody is going to be like, um, you know, um, feeling drawn to you when you have kind of given up on them. So that can also be the case for some of you. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.